First of all, I want to say thank you to all the supportive people, man, online, you know, through social media, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Instagram, everything, okay? Because listen, uh, we just hit 50,000 on Instagram, okay? And like I said, I really appreciate everybody. Notice that I don't call people on Instagram followers, as, as you'll hear that term thrown around a lot on Instagram, okay? Because... You all are more like my family, like my friends. You know, I'm as I'm as interactive as possible in the comment section. My DM box, you know, I try to make sure I respond to everything. All right. I try to make sure I respond to everything because you know what? It's not about, you know, being popular. You know, I mean, it's it's not about, you know, getting somewhere and then folding your arms. And no, you got to you have to keep doing the things that you've been doing. That's what type of person I am, you know. So like I say. Uh, still understand that even though you know the accounts are growing that doesn't mean that I change you know because see I know who I am before anything else comes I know who I am in the Lord meaning that a title will not change me you know an amount of money will not change me uh, a number of followers on something none of that stuff will change me I'm gonna be the same person that I always am you know so hope y'all having a good day man like I say I appreciate all the support uh, and what does what does fifty thousand subscribe? I mean, what does fifty thousand uh, friends on Instagram mean? It means that, well, for me, it means a lot. To be honest with you, it means a lot because these are fifty thousand people who are hearing the word of the Lord every day. You know, that's why it means a lot to me. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. If I was making prank videos or or I was a comedian, I would see fifty thousand and be like. You know, them, them just 50,000 people who like to laugh for it. But these are 50,000 people who are hungry for the word of the Lord, man. And I'm just I'm just thankful and blessed that the Lord could use me as a funnel, you know, to deliver messages and deliver his word to people uh, who want to hear it. And there may and there may be a lot of people, you know, on my uh, my social networks who don't want to hear it. But I'm going to still give it to you anyway, you know, because sometimes, you know, Love is not always soft, and, 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 and sometimes there's things called tough love, meaning that I may make a video, it may make you uncomfortable, but hey, it's supposed to make you uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to, that, that's the only way to grow. All right? So I'm so thankful. All right? I'm so thankful for you all. You know, I'm so thankful. And always know you can email me, hit me in my DM box, Facebook, or whatever, and I'm going to respond as soon as I get a chance. All right? It's still the same me. You know, I get some messages and people telling me, you know, about my numbers and things like that. I understand. But, hey, I mean, those aren't my followers. Those are followers for the Lord. You know, I'm playing my position. You know, I mean, I, I'm I'm the middleman. I'm playing my position. You know, it's almost like, let's just say if it's a football game going on and I'm a wide receiver. You know what I'm saying? Now, the Lord is the quarterback. And, you know, obviously the Lord is the team. But. The Lord is the quarterback. And it's just, it's like, you know, it's like a play getting drawn up. You know, Lord may say, hey, look, I want you to run 20 yards, then take a right, and I'm going to throw it to you right there. I got to play my position, meaning that I may run 20 yards, take that right. Guess what? The football, right? I got to be ready to catch it. See what I'm saying? I got to be ready to catch it. So if someone was to get, you know, a certain number of followers and they, they get big headed thinking that these are their own people. They ain't making no right turn. What they doing? They want to run to the touch. Ain't even no football being thrown in that direction. They trying to run to the touchdown because it's not all about you. It's not all about you. Okay? It's all about the Lord. It's all about him. So I want to encourage you today to understand, to understand that your life is already planned out. Do not let anything in life give you the big head. I don't care if you get a promotion at work, you make more money, you know, you, you, you're the best dressed person in, in, in your school or whatever, or you homecoming king or queen or whatever, whatever the case may be. Don't get big headed. You have to you have to stay humble and understand the Lord is using you. OK, so that's why this certain number of followers on social media means a lot to me because they're following the Lord. I, I see it's important for me to play my position because, see, sometimes you could be in positions to where it's very vital, meaning that you can use 50,000 followers for good or you can use it for evil. OK, that's why it's important that I stay in tune with the Holy Spirit, with the Lord and really understand what he's speaking to me, what type of messages that he want me to bring out 
and things like that, okay? So like I say, you know, y'all y'all keep doing what you're doing, you know? Keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to keep on bringing forth things that the Lord is putting on my heart. And I just want to say that I love you all again. And I'm still the same person. I'm going to always be the same person. So send me a message. Whatever you need, you need me to pray for you. Well, you know, whatever messages that you send me, I'm going to always respond to them. Okay? And if I can't get to them, you're going to know. I'm going to say, if I'm too busy, let me, all right, let me back up a little bit. I don't want to hold y'all long. I know y'all got things to do. But if I see where I have a lot of messages, okay? If I see where I got a lot of messages, I'll open it and I'll send you something like, Thanks, I'll respond to it later when I get more time. You know, because I like to go in depth when I respond to messages. And a lot of times people might say, well, I don't have time to do this. I, how do you have time to do this or whatever? That's also my hobby. My hobby is helping people. You know, I like to work out, you know, play ball. I, I like, I love to do all that stuff. But also one of my hobbies is helping people. So it's not a task or it's not a burden to respond to somebody's message. It's not a task or a burden for uh, for me to pick up my phone and call somebody's number who wrote me that number in a message and, you know, shoot the breeze with them and help them with their current situation uh, with the help of the Lord. It's not a task. That's what I love to do, okay? That's what I love to do, man. Humility will get you there and humility will keep you there. Always remember that, whatever you go through in life, all right? I love you all, man. Y'all have a great day. I'm about to go uh, get some groceries right quick. Just want to say I love y'all again. I appreciate all the support. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Share this video if you appreciate the channel and everything like that. All glory to the Lord for everything. Everything in your life, you got to give him glory for it, man. Because let me explain something to you. If you woke up today with the things that you asked God for yesterday, think about it like that. If you only woke up today with the things that you asked God for yesterday, you wouldn't have 99% of the stuff right now. So thank the Lord for giving you everything even without you asking. There's so many things that you didn't even ask for yesterday and God still woke you up with them. God's still working things out in your favor. So we have to turn back to the Lord and understand, you know what? God got me. As simple as that. God got me. Remember the three words. God got me in everything that you go through. All right? I love y'all.